We're here at the uh, Elephant Odyssey exhibit, and we're about to go meet up with a 48-year-old female African elephant. We're going to see if she want to do a little exercise walk and physical therapy this morning. Our program focuses on geriatric care. Our oldest elephant here at San Diego Zoo is 55. Our youngest is 39. All of our elephants have lived at different places. They've come here to basically retire and spend the rest of their lives. Dembo, come. The elephants get to choose whether or not they participate in exercise or a training process. And if she does, she'll receive a reward. We have lots of different types of food items to offer Timbo this morning. Elephants, like people, have preferences. So I have everything from honeydew, watermelon, and banana, to celery, cucumber, even apples, carrots, and sweet potatoes, in case Timbo decides to say she wants one thing more than the other. Timbo, come. Good. Good. So the sound you hear Tembo making right now is what we call a raspberry. It's a sound that's unique to her. We typically hear her make that sound when she's receiving rewards from a trainer or when she's eating something that she very much enjoys. I've heard a lot of random sounds come from elephants over my career. That one's quite unique, especially because it is coming from her mouth. Having a relationship with an elephant is quite incredible. These guys are extremely intelligent. Cross. Good girl. Come on, trip. Their sheer size just puts me in awe every time that I interact with one of them. Timbo, come. What I'm going to observe during this uh, walking session is how Tembo's moving. Her front left leg seems to be looking just fine this morning. Let's go back this way. Tembo, come. Good. Her front right is a little stiff. She is, yeah. Tembo has some um, arthritis in her right wrist. Her wrist comes out to the side a little bit. We call that valgus. Some things are easier for her to do, and some things are a little harder for her to do. And that's part of what we're assessing now as well. Tembo, lean in. Target. The target is a tool we use during training with our elephants. We use a pull target. buoy on the end of a broomstick, and we use it to train the elephants to touch every body part to that. Target a positive-based training tool, so as Tembo touches it, she receives some sort of reinforcement. Good. Knuckle. Okay. Good. We do consider Tembo to be a geriatric elephant. Trunk. So it's not uncommon for us to see arthritis. Target. Okay. Oh, that's tough. Target. Steady. Oh, Robbie, she's, um, I noticed this on the first time around. She's lifting her leg out a little bit rather than right behind her. To address the pain that Tembo's been experiencing, it's important for us to always think out of the box. Open. So Dr. Beth will be coming down in the next few weeks to provide her with some acupuncture. Target. Dr. Beth has provided acupuncture treatment to a variety of animals here at the zoo with great success. Tembo's the first elephant we'll be attempting that with, and we're really hopeful to see some positive effects with it. Tembo, yeah. head down. Good, head down. It's like I'm done, Robbie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay, I've got all the food that I need. We're about to bring in Tembo to go through a, an acupuncture session. We've been going through this with her for the last few weeks, and we're excited to see if it actually benefits her arthritis. And our very own Dr. Beth is here to take her through that process. Steady, Tembo. Good. The acupuncture needle itself is really flexible, but it's not strong enough to get through the skin. 
Elephants have pretty thick skin, and I started using a bigger needle and then putting the, the really fine acupuncture needle through it. Tembo lean in. Good. The goal with the acupuncture needles is not to hit the pain fibers, but just to hit the non-pain fibers, like the pressure or the heat ones, so that we can try to remind the nervous system that there's other impulses besides pain. You can kind of see where it's smooth from where she's been hitting the area with her tail, and that's when we know that area's kind of bugging her. Part of the hip there, part of the hip here, some ribs there, and I'm gonna try right oh. here and see how this goes. All right, she was really good for that. And then we'll try to tap in that acupuncture needle. There we go. So that worked well. Like a lot of zoo vet activities, we learn on domestic animals and then we apply it to the exotic. So elephants are most like horses, so I'm using the horse points to treat her. Good. Sometimes it's harder to get through this front area. Yeah. I have to pay attention when she leans in that I don't have my hand like anywhere where it's gonna get trapped. Steady. I'm gonna try one back here. She was a little bit funny about this spot last week, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, felt a little flinch on that. Steady. All right. Good. Then I'll hook up the E-STEM. E-STEM is short for electrostimulation. It's a little unit that sets out a prescribed amount of electrostimulation, but not in a painful way. So it will give more stimulation to the nerves than if you just have the needles in. So far, she's doing really good. Her muscles are really strong. Just those muscles flexing will start pushing the needles out. So I just kind of keep an eye on them. We'll leave a little bit of a footprint there for a couple hours after I pull the needles out. So it will continue to have a little bit of effect for a while. So that good. is acupuncture. Excellent job, Tembo. She was go. awesome. Yeah. Hey, bud. She's like, I don't care about you, Beth. Where's them raisins? We've observed Tembo make some progress the way she's moving around. So next week, we're going to be doing some thermal imaging to assess whether inflammation has increased or decreased. If I give her a few, she waits like this. She's like, that wasn't a very big handful, Beth. You oh, should yeah. give me more. She's an awesome people trainer, Dr. <laughs> yeah, so, it's working she's for She's training me. you. She wants to see that bucket emptied into her trunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one, all gone. See, trust me. 